welcome to the lecture on turbulence modeling using k epsilon model. So, in the last lecture uh, we discussed about uh, uh, the mixing length model and uh, it is a simple model which is uh, uh, in, in which you have an, an algebraic expression that is used uh, for finding the expression for mu t. So, which is uh, used for uh, you know modeling of uh, uh, the term related to Reynolds stresses. Now, uh, that is uh, normally uh, you know applicable or that is uh, more useful when you have uh, a very simple type of flows or, or a two in two dimensional uh, thin shear uh, you know layers where the uh, changes in the flow direction is uh, slow uh, and uh, that ensures that the turbulence uh, can adjust itself. Uh, to local conditions. So, in those cases those uh, mixing length models are useful. Uh, however, when uh, there will be complicated kind of flows or when you have uh, in, in the flows where convection and diffusion will be causing uh, the difference between the production and dissipation of the uh, you know turbulence. So, um, production and destruction of turbulence. Uh, mostly it is found in the case of recirculating flows for example. So, in those cases uh, uh, you know these uh, compact algebraic, uh, algebraic uh, expression uh, you know uh, that is for the mixing length uh, which is prescribed that will not long, that will no longer be uh, you know suitable. So, uh, what we need that uh, we need to understand uh, we need to take into account these dynamics of turbulence and uh, we have to know the mechanism uh, you know by which uh, there is a uh, effect on the turbulent kinetic energy and uh, for that uh, these uh, k and epsilon model is used. So, where k is the uh, turbulent kinetic energy and epsilon is the uh, dissipation rate of dissipation of this turbulent kinetic energy. So, based on that uh, you know uh, we try to uh, have uh, the prediction of the uh, effect of turbulence. So, in this lecture we are going to have the discussion about uh, the uh, k epsilon model. Now, before that uh, you know uh, we need to understand uh, uh, because we have studied about the instantaneous equations. Uh, for the uh, you know continuity or even the x y and z momentum equations then we had the equation for the uh, mean uh, you know flow uh, mean parameters like uh, uh, for the uh, continuity equation and for also the you know uh, velocity component also. So, that we have already uh, seen and uh, those x equations will be made use for finding the expression for the turbulent kinetic energy and also we will have the uh, governing equation for. Uh, so, uh, we will have another equation for the dissipation of uh, you know once we will have the uh, expression for uh, the uh, mean uh, you know uh, turbulent kinetic energy and then you will have uh, you know mean kinetic energy and then you will have for the kinetic in turbulent kinetic energy. So, uh, now from there onwards uh, we will talk about the k epsilon model which was uh, devised by or which was suggested by a researcher Spalding. So, he has given these two equations for k and epsilon and uh, with uh, the value of k and epsilon we try to have the expression for mu t. So, that is what uh, the you know uh, m becomes. So, uh, so if we uh, try to see you know uh, we have seen that uh, we, we got uh, when we try to have uh, you know for these any uh, parameter we have one mean component for any property. So, we will have uh, one mean component and another is the uh, fluctuating component. So, similarly if you have the uh, kinetic energy also. So, you will have uh, mean kinetic energy and then you have the you know uh, turbulent kinetic energy. So, we write the instantaneous uh, you know value. So, k t so, that will be uh, you know the mean uh, kinetic energy plus you will have the uh, instantaneous uh, you know that is uh, the turbulent kinetic energy. So, that will be you know this will be uh, half of uh, uh, u square plus v square plus uh, w square. So, this will be half of u. So, that will be capital U square plus capital v square plus capital w square 
and uh, uh, this will be u prime square plus v prime square plus w prime square. So, the, uh, that there will be bars on those values. So, so this will be uh, basically half of uh, u square plus v square plus w square uh, and this will be half of uh, u prime square bar plus uh, v prime square bar plus w prime square bar. So, that will be you know uh, that is what we have uh, normally uh, seen. Uh, similarly, uh, if we try to express these uh, stresses and the uh, mean rate of deformation as the uh, tensor. So, if you uh, try to express them in tensorial form. So, you will have the uh, you know rate of deformation S i j. So, so that will be you know that will be uh, represented by a matrix in the tensor form. So, it will be you know S x x then you will have uh, S x y and S x z similarly S y x S y y and S y z and uh, you will have S z uh, x S z y and S z z. So, that will be uh, you know in the, in the similar line if you try to uh, denote for the stresses. So, you will have uh, tau x y or tau i j. So, that will be again tau x x tau x y tau x z similarly tau y x tau y y tau y z and uh, tau z x tau z y and tau z z. So, uh, you will have uh, uh, this way you have uh, the rate of deformation also in the uh, fluid element you will be uh, you know if you talk about this uh, instantaneous uh, uh, value. So, you will have uh, the mean component as well as the uh, you know uh, fluctuating component. So, uh, you know uh, this gives uh, uh, so that will be uh, used. So, what we do? Uh, we normally uh, go for suppose S x x. So, it will be uh, capital S x x plus S prime x x you know bar. So, that way uh, you know uh, you will have. So, if you take uh, the uh, value of uh, suppose uh, S x x t. So, it will be uh, you know S x x plus S x x prime. So, that will be. So, as we know that S x x will be uh, do u by uh, do x and then this will be uh, do u prime by do x. So, that way uh, you will have uh, the uh, S y y t and S z z t. Similarly, if you have to uh, find the S x y t. So, that will be also uh, you know mean uh, part plus fluctuating part. So, uh, so it will be uh, you know so mean part S x y. So, it will be uh, you know half of uh, do u by do y plus do v by do x. So, do v by do x basically and uh, then uh, if you take this uh, this part x prime uh, x y. So, it will be half of uh, do u prime by do y and then plus do v prime by do x. So, that way you will have uh, the uh, values of uh, further you can have uh, the value of s uh, y y t and similarly, you can have the uh, value of S z z t. So, in this way also you will have uh, you know uh, it will be same as S uh, x y t. So, you can have the expression for x y z s y z t or s z y t or so. So, all these uh, you know uh, they can be taken in that uh, form. Now, what we uh, need to know that uh, we need to find the uh, turbulent uh, you know the governing equation or, or the uh, uh, you know uh, the equation for the mean turbulent kinetic energy. Now, for uh, you know finding the equation for the mean turbulent kinetic energy, uh, you we had the uh, equation you know uh, for the uh, you know uh, for this uh, uh, mean uh, component of velocity. So, what you can do is in 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 that uh, particular equation uh, you multiply that uh, with the uh, mean component of uh, velocity so that capital u and capital u will be u square so you will have three equations uh, for that uh, you know uh, uh, mean uh, you know x uh, component y component and z component momentum equation if you recall 
So, in that though you rho of u by d t by rho u u yeah, that will be uh, so the, you had those expressions. Now, what you do normally you try to uh, multiply them with the uh, the u and then you uh, so the so that uh, x momentum equation will be multiplied with uh, capital U y momentum which will, will be multiplied with uh, capital V and z momentum will be multiplied with uh, capital uh, W. So, you will have the uh, u square uh, term will be coming in the uh, you know in, the, in that x momentum equation in the v square term will be coming in the y momentum equation and z and w square comma will be coming in the z momentum equation. And if you do certain rearrangement in that case, uh, you are getting the uh, expression for uh, the mean flow kinetic energy. So, that is for the mean flow. So, as you know that you will have uh, uh, one is mean flow part and another is the uh, fluctuating part. So, uh, there uh, uh, you get this uh, equation. If you now uh, look at uh, this equation, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 terms. Now, if you look at this term, uh, this is uh, the uh, rate of uh, change. So, uh, this will be rate of change of the mean uh, you know kinetic energy uh, you know that is with respect to time. So, this is that uh, uh, rate of change uh, term. Then uh, this will be the term uh, which is uh, dive of rho k u. So, this is for the mean uh, you know ki kinetic energy and uh, this is uh, by the uh, convection. So, this is the uh, you know transport of k by convection. So, the second term if you take this uh, term as the uh, first one, this as the second one, uh, this as the third one, this as the fourth one, this as the fifth one, this as the sixth one and this as the seventh one. So, same thing here also. Now, in this case if you uh, look at the first term it is uh, the uh, uh, you know change. So, that is rate of change of mean uh, uh, kinetic energy. This is the transport due to uh, you know convection of uh, the mean uh, you know uh, kinetic energy. Uh, similarly, if you look at this minus P u. So, this is again mean pressure. So, this is the uh, uh, transport of uh, k because of the uh, you know pressure. So, this is because of the uh, pressure you will have the uh, transport. Now, if you look at this term 2 mu u s i j. So, it uh, uses this uh, mu. So, it will be uh, with the uh, because of the uh, viscous stresses you have here this is the mu and then you have s i j. So, that is your uh, rate of uh, deformation. So, that leads to the viscous stress. So, uh, basically this is the transport of k because of the uh, viscous stresses. Now, if you look at this term, this term contains this fluctuating uh, velocity component and uh, then uh, bar over it. So, that leads to u rho u i u j uh, you know prime u i prime u j prime bar. So, that is the indication of having the turbulent uh, you know uh, shear stresses. So, uh, this is uh, or that is uh, we call it as the Reynolds stresses. So, this is the uh, you know transport uh, of k by the uh, Reynolds stress then uh, come to this term this is uh, basically minus 2 mu s i j dot s i j. So, this is uh, basically the uh, rate of uh, viscous uh, dissipation term. So, what you see uh, this will be dissipation this is a negative term. So, this will be the rate of uh, uh, viscous dissipation you have the uh, mu term and this is uh, so, that will be uh, dot s i j. So, that will be uh, viscous uh, dissipation is there going on. Uh, so, this is that term and this term again you if you look at uh, this is again rho u i u j uh, you know u i prime u j prime bar and then you have dot uh, s i j. So, this is uh, because of the uh, turbulence production. So, this is again uh, this is a negative term. So, that is why we again uh, call it as a uh, you know uh, destruction because uh, this term minus of this term is normally positive. So, this will be destruction of the uh, you know turbulence uh, production. So, this is uh, that term. So, these uh, uh, 7 terms we are getting these are the governing equation for the uh, mean uh, for the uh, kinetic energy. Now, uh, what we have to do is uh, uh, 
Uh, now, you have if you recall in our earlier lecture you had one equation for the instantaneous uh, you know uh, velocity. So, for that you had uh, three equations that Neves to equation. So, you got for the small u that is uh, comprising of a uh, mean part plus fluctuating part. So, again uh, you know uh, that will be multiplied uh, you know uh, and then uh, you have the uh, multiplication to the uh, the mean uh, you know uh, mean uh, velocity component uh, equations. So, uh, that momentum equations and, and further you are when you are uh, taking the difference. So, in, in that case uh, you are getting the uh, equation for the uh, turbulent kinetic energy k. So, turbulent kinetic energy k will be nothing but if you are getting uh, having the expression for uh, the uh, k t that is your uh, uh, you know turbulent kinetic energy. And if you sub, uh, uh, take the difference that is of the mean uh, part of the uh, kinetic energy. So, you will get the, that for the fluctuating part. So, in that uh, if you do those uh, you know uh, uh, some kind of uh, computation. Uh, in that case you are getting the governing equation for the turbulent kinetic energy. And uh, this uh, turbulent kinetic energy for that uh, you know that so, there are uh, certainly some uh, of the uh, there are uh, many you know um, uh, uh, computations on that and this is done by Tanekes and Lumley. So, uh, so they have uh, devised. So, with that uh, you know with some of the reframing of the equations and all you get further the equation for the uh, turbulent kinetic energy k. Now, for that again it this equation comes out to be dou of rho k by t. So, again this is uh, first. So, this is again the uh, change of rate of change of the turbulent kinetic energy here. So, this is uh, rate of change with respect to time. Then you have dive of rho k u. Now, here it is uh, the uh, mean uh, you know uh, kinetic energy mean flow kinetic energy capital K and this is a small k. So, this is uh, for the, uh, the turbulent kinetic energy part. So, this will be rho k u. So, again this is uh, because of the convection. So, it will be the transport uh, you know of uh, turbulent kinetic energy by the uh, convection. So, that is dive of rho k u. Then the third term similarly here if you have the uh, capital P that is mean pressure and this is uh, the uh, uh, u. So, uh, so, in that place you have uh, the P prime that is your fluctuating uh, you know the, that part of uh, pressure as well as the uh, velocity. So, you you have again the transport of turbulent kinetic energy. So, that is uh, uh, because of the pressure. So, here it was also the because of pressure. So, here also it will be because of the pressure. Then uh, you will have uh, the um, again uh, this is the uh, 2 mu u prime s uh, prime i j. So, this will be the uh, because of the uh, viscous stresses. So, that is uh, mu and s i. Uh, j prime. So, you will have the viscous stresses. So, because of that so this is transport of k by the uh, viscous stresses. Similarly, this will be transport of uh, k because of the uh, Reynolds stresses and now here you will have the uh, rate of dissipation of the k and this is the uh, rate of production of k. So, now in this case this is minus and this is plus. So, this will be the uh, rate of production in that case it was the uh, destruction because it was plus and, and this value is uh, overall becoming negative. So, you will have uh, this term as the rate of production of the uh, turbulent kinetic energy. So, this way uh, you are getting uh, these uh, two governing equations for the uh, mean flow kinetic energy and the turbulent kinetic energy. And uh, we will define uh, we will see that uh, there are two governing I mean uh, two equations for k and epsilon which is uh, which has been given by uh, the Spalding. And with that value of k and epsilon how we find these uh, uh, you know mu t value. So, uh, you know we uh, see a few terms and uh, uh, the term that is uh, 6 1 this is uh, 2 mu s i j uh, dot s i j or here this is uh, s prime i j dot s prime i j. This is the you know uh, viscous dissipation uh, term and this will be nothing but 2 mu times it will be uh, you know uh, s uh, uh, 1 1 prime square plus s 1 2 prime 
uh, you know s 2 2 prime square plus s 3 3 prime square um, you know bar over it plus 2 times s 1 prime s 2 prime uh, bar plus 2 times s 2 prime s 3 prime bar. So, that way uh, that term uh, can be uh, defined as and then it was uh, you know. So, this uh, is uh, the uh, you know this uh, has uh, it is it has a negative contribution. So, uh, you know uh, this is because of the uh, you know these uh, uh, square of these uh, uh, fluctuating terms. So, uh, you know so, you have the dissipation of this uh, turbulent uh, kinetic energy which is uh, uh, you know uh, caused uh, by the work done by the smaller eddies. So, uh, against these uh, viscous stresses and for that there is a uh, parameter which is uh, uh, defined. So, uh, you know that is uh, uh, rate of dissipation you know per unit uh, volume and, uh, and then rate of dissipation per unit mass. So, this rate of dissipation uh, of this turbulent kinetic energy. So, uh, 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 per unit mass if you uh, take as, so if you multiply that with rho, so that will be uh, uh, for the per unit volume and for per unit mass, so we call it as uh, the epsilon. So, this epsilon uh, is uh, further uh, you know used for finding the uh, mu t. So, uh, this epsilon is basically uh, defined as 2 nu s i j uh, you know prime uh, dot s i j prime and then this is uh, what is uh, defined as the uh, uh, rate of uh, dissipation of turbulent kinetic energy uh, from, uh, from this point. So, it will be divided by rho. So, you will have 2 nu and uh, s i j prime s i j prime and uh, uh, you know. So, that uh, basically will be this parameter is uh, this is a term which is known as the rate of dissipation of uh, turbulent kinetic energy per unit uh, mass. Now, if you look at its uh, um, uh, you know unit it will its unit is uh, basically for this the unit is meter square uh, per second cube. So, this is uh, very important in the case of uh, turbulence dynamics and uh, we have to see that uh, how you know we uh, try to have uh, the its significance when we get the k epsilon turbulence uh, model. So, uh, what we do we try to find uh, the uh, you know equation for the k and epsilon. Uh, and, and that is uh, uh, given by the uh, Launder and uh, Spalding. So, what they have uh, uh, given initially what uh, they have uh, uh, suggested that uh, uh, you have uh, uh, you know uh, the uh, k and epsilon. So, that will be used to define the uh, velocity scale and the length scale. So, uh, the velocity scale will be defined as uh, the k raised to the power half because as we know that uh, k will be uh, half of. Uh, so, it will be power uh, proportional to v raised to the power 2. So, v will be uh, k raised to the power half. Similarly, uh, the length scale can be taken as k raised to the power 3 by 2 by epsilon. So, uh, that uh, there are certain uh, you know uh, uh, you know conditions or there are certain assumptions why they have uh, they have been taken. So, why we are taking this uh, length scale and uh, when uh, you know a small eddy variable is there that is epsilon. So, we are taking the uh, you know uh, we are taking that to define the large scale length L. So, certainly because they are extracting the energy. So, they have the interaction. So, based on that uh, you know they, they have been defined this length scale as in terms of uh, epsilon. Now, using the uh, dimensional analysis what we, uh, we can uh, get the eddy viscosity uh, mu t as the c rho uh, v and l and uh, that way we can get uh, rho uh, c mu and then k square by epsilon. So, basically uh, what we do we, we try to have the, uh, the value of k and epsilon and then uh, you are getting this uh, value of mu t uh, using uh, that value of k and epsilon and this k and epsilon you are getting from the two you know uh, governing equations for the uh, k and epsilon. So, 
the two equations for one for k and one for epsilon that has been uh, uh, given by uh, the Spalding and they are uh, like this. So, uh, this equation for the uh, turbulent uh, kinetic energy k has been given as uh, the uh, dou of rho k by dou t plus dive of rho k u it will be dive of mu t by sigma k grad k plus 2 mu t s i j dot s i j minus rho epsilon. Now, if you look at uh, uh, this term, so this term again this is the uh, rate of change of k or epsilon. So, if you look at uh, these two terms they go uh, 1 and 1. So, uh, here dou of rho k by dou t and this is rho of dou of rho epsilon by dou t. So, these two terms are the rate of change of either k or epsilon. Next will be the uh, transport of k or epsilon because of the uh, convection. So, uh, this is for the k equation and this is for the epsilon equation. Now, coming to right hand side we are taking this uh, parameter sigma k and uh, uh, this dive of uh, mu t by sigma k grad k and similarly mu t by sigma epsilon grad epsilon. So, this is uh, the uh, transport of k or epsilon uh, because of the uh, diffusion. So, uh, you have uh, uh, the uh, diffusion and, and that is uh, because of the uh, mu terms and sigma uh, terms. So, this is because of the uh, diffusion terms. Then come to the 2 mu t uh, s i j s i j this is uh, in the case of uh, you know uh, uh, k and this is here we are taking c 1 epsilon epsilon by k 2 mu t s i j dot s i j. So, now in these two terms they, they relate uh, they are basically talking about the uh, rate of production of the uh, you know uh, either k or epsilon uh, in, in this case. And then the last term is the uh, rate of uh, distraction I mean distraction so that is dissipation and here also it is the dissipation. So, you are getting uh, these values. So, you are having uh, these two governing equations are used uh, for finding the uh, value of k and epsilon and then uh, in this case you are having these uh, constants c mu. So, this c mu which is used uh, you know uh, that c mu will be uh, its value will be 0 0.09 and uh, c mu is used for finding the mu t. So, where we have uh, seen that earlier. So, mu t will be c mu and then, then you apply this uh, uh, you know other parameters. You have the use of uh, sigma k uh, that is we are taking as 1 and sigma epsilon we are taking as 1.3. C 1 epsilon and C 2 epsilon has been taken as 1 point. They are suggested uh, by the, uh, the researcher Spalding. So, this is uh, basically the uh, these are the constants and they are used for uh, uh, finding the uh, value of uh, the k and epsilon and then further we use them for uh, uh, for finding the uh, mu t once we uh, we get the value of c mu there from and k and epsilon. Now, uh, what we uh, see uh, in this case so now we can have the uh, computation of the uh, Reynolds stress uh, rho u i prime u j prime uh, bar. So, that we can get uh, using the Bosnisk uh, approximation. So, therefrom also uh, you get it. Now, the thing is that uh, if you uh, talk about uh, this uh, model. So, this model is uh, basically uh, a very uh, you know uh, simple turbulence model uh, which is uh, used uh, uh, for which only initial and or boundary conditions need to be supplied. So, we have uh, uh, certain uh, initial and boundary conditions suppose at inlet uh, we uh, give the distribution for k and epsilon. So, those values need to be supplied then uh, you know uh, at the uh, outlet you or, or the symmetry line you may have the uh, you know uh, uh, the uh, the k, uh, dou k by dou n equal to 0 or dou epsilon by dou n equal to 0. So, that way you are giving these boundary conditions and you are uh, solving at the walls basically uh, you are giving the condition based on the Reynolds number. So, we have already seen that what are those uh, uh, law of walls. So, based on that we are giving the uh, boundary conditions. This is a very uh, you know uh, model which has a very excellent performance for uh, many industrial relevant flows and uh, this is uh, uh, well established 
and the most widely validated the turbulence model. Now, if you uh, talk about this model, so but this model has also certain uh, disadvantages and uh, uh, those uh, disadvantages uh, will be uh, you know that it is more expensive as compared to the uh, mixing length model and then uh, you have also um, uh, some poor performances uh, in the variety of important cases. So, uh, in uh, some of the unconfined flows or flow with uh, uh, large extra strains where uh, I mean in the case of curved boundary layers or swirling flows or rotating flows uh, or even flows driven by anisotropy of normal Reynolds stresses. In these cases this uh, model does not work. So, uh, in our lectures to come um, sometimes when we talk about the boundary conditions and also the other models at that time uh, we will uh, also try to have the discussion about uh, you know uh, certain uh, uh, you know aspects of uh, this model and uh, there are certain modifications uh, uh, to this uh, you know k epsilon model because that does not work good uh, you know in that reason where the, uh, the turbulence more uh, Reynolds number is low. So, you have uh, certain damping you know uh, coefficients are uh, damping constants are also uh, supplied so that uh, the uh, that uh, decays that uh, uh, it uh, uh, gives you proper you know it uh, predicts proper parameters because the turbulence is uh, you know very uh, small in those uh, regions and uh, so so there will be certain modifications that we will see that uh, what modification we do in this uh, model uh, so that it can be used even for uh, certain cases like where you have the low Reynolds number flows also near the walls or so. So, that we will uh, see in our uh, long run, but uh, uh, for the time being we should be you know uh, knowing the uh, terms of these k epsilon turbulence model. Uh, so, that when we mostly when we use them for predicting the uh, you know turbulent flow. So, we should uh, feel confident about the all these uh, terminologies. Thank you very much.